Good morning still, 15 minutes to go. Uh, I just wanted to show the Egyptian tarot. This is a low scarabio deck, which is odd that it comes in a box like this. I would have said Schiffer almost. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I think the book or somewhere it said, well, right on the cover. Painted with tempera, tempera on papyrus by Silvana Alicia. Wow, all of those names are hard to say. So I'm going to skip that. And there's more information on the back. I'll let you look at it. It says it comes with, you know, the normal number of cards, 160 page book. We'll see here in a second. And I don't know about that Egyptian connection to tarot, but that's okay, you know. So that's the box. Here's the book. Kind of a chunky book. Let's see when it was published. 1988 wow then reprinted or this current printing is 2010 2010 seems to be some magical year that keeps coming up oh wow that's pictures in it and a history not just a history an actual timeline isn't that interesting 1442 through the, this deck 1971 oh no not this deck, that's just a picture off to the side. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. They mentioned their competitors, which I'm not entirely believing that they're competitors of one another. Probably one and all the same company. Probably Nestle. I always say that. It's probably not. It's probably ConAgra. Huh. So that's an interesting looking book uh, now I'll have to read it this may have been the reason I got this this also might qualify as a pip pipish deck based on the minors arcana well here are the majors going from magician the world let's find a hermit dar dar hermit the hermit hmm. it's going to the right not to the left Oh, yeah. Comes with two extra cards. That picture reminded me, because when you flip it over, that's that right there. That's a nice picture. And there's a little white book, you know, the typical low scarabio multiple language thing. But here's the fool card up close. If I can hold it steady enough. And that's what the backs look like side up upside down or if you like fancy words reversed <laughs> so that's the put it right there that's the full card I'll let you look at that maybe we'll just do a zoom since we're doing these rather quickly just zoom in on a particular card right in the middle just to give you an idea oh my gosh poor cow Let's back out now. <laughs> Didn't want to see that. Uh, here comes the first suit. And you can see it is pippish. These are the swords. Let's see if I can scoot that off and scoot this in. I think so. Those are nice colors. I like that. If you're into that style of deck, crocodile. That makes sense. Here comes the wands. Those are nice. First thing I saw, the little hook, I thought of King Tut. I like that they get their own little scarab in there. Hmm. Interesting. These are like all their decks in terms of size and the way the paper card stock or whatever you want to call it is. These are pentacles. See if it's straight. Hmm. They're not.
nice for looking at. I don't see why this wouldn't be usable. Here is the chalices or cups. Would have been interesting to see it, you know, the actual art. But anyway, that was a quick show of the Egyptian tarot. Put the book in there. And with that, I will say peace.